My dear brothers and sisters, today's speech is about reflecting upon the verses of the Quran. And we will take as an example just one verse of the Quran, which is not that long. A verse which is formed uh, of uh, seven, eight words. Allah Azza wa has revealed this book to be pondered upon, to be reflected upon. Kitab anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyadabbaru ayatih. The purpose of revealing this book is not to be read without being understood in any way, shape or form. The purpose of revealing this book is to take all our knowledge from it, is to take all our science from it, is to take it as a guidance. Kitab anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyadabbaru ayatih. This is, this is a blessed book which we have revealed upon you. That they, might, that they might reflect upon its verses and that those of understanding would be reminded. And as I mentioned, I just want to show you today the extent, of, the extent to which we can go when meditating upon one single verse of the verses of Allah Azawajal. And you can apply it to the rest of the verses that you will read. And try to read it differently, try to read it in a way that you will, try, that you will find examples from it, that you will take it as a guidance. In هذا القرآن يهدي للتي إيا أقوم This book guides to the perfect things, to the perfection in every, in, to the perfection in uh, all aspects of life. It guides to the perfection in everything. The verse that uh, I have chosen as an example is وَاللَّهُ يُرِيدُ أَنْ يَتُوبَ عَلَيْكُمْ وَيُرِيدُ الَّذِينَ يَتَّبِعُونَ الشَّهَوَاتِ أَنْ تَمِيلُوا مَيْلًا عَظِيمًا The verse that Allah Azza wa Jal has revealed in Surah An-Nisa. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says, Allah wants to accept your repentance. But those who follow their passions, they want you to digress into a great deviation. And what a great verse it is, and all the words of Allah Azawajal are great. Allah Azawajal has started this verse by mentioning a verb, which is, Wallahu yurid. He has uh, used this verb in Arabic, yurid, which we can translate as want. But he used this verb in such a way which carries with it the meaning of repetition. So he always wants. Wallahu you read, in this context, would be translated, he always wants. Wallahu you read, what does he always want? Wallahu you read, alaykum. He always wants to come back to him so that he can, so that he can accept your repentance. Wallahu you read, ayyatuba alaykum. Wa you read, ladina yatabiyuna shahawati and tabiyu mela atima. Allah, in every day, in every single minute, he wants you to go back to him so that he can, so that he can forgive your sins. He wants, and there is a repetition in it, in every day, in every single moment of your life. He wants to forgive your sins. He wants to accept your repentance. All you need to do is just go back to him. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَصْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Do not despair from the, مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Do not despair. From the mercy of your Lord. It is calling even those who have made great sins. Do not despair from the mercy of your Lord. Wallahu yuridu an yatub alaykum in every single day. He wants to accept your repentance. In every single moment of your life, he wants you to go back to him. He all he needs from you is to make that first step towards him so that he can accept your repentance. The only thing which he is waiting for you to do. Is to open the door of the repentance so he, so he accepts it and he forgives your sins. And that's the reason, besides all the moments of the days, in which, besides that he wants to accept your repentance all the time, he installed particular moments of the year, particular moments of the day in which the repentance is even further accepted. Prophet he said, Ramadan ila Ramadan. الصلاة الخمس والجمعة إلى الجمعة ورمضان إلى رمضان كفارة لما بينهن مجتنبة الكبائر. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said the five daily prayers and the Friday speech until the next Friday one and Ramadan until the next one. 
Kafaratun lima baynahuma are great moments to be forgiven in. As long as we are, as long as we keep away from the great sins. And they will mention a hadith. Allah Azza wa Jal, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, just to show you how much he wants to repent to you, how much he wants to accept your repentance. يَنزِلُ رَبُّنَا فِي الثُّلُثِ الْأَخِيرِ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَيَقُولُ هَلْ مِنْ دَاعٍ فَأَسْتَجِيبَ لَهُ هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرَ لَهُ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned about Allah Azza wa Jal, he descends every night. In every single night, he descends to the lowest heaven with one third. When one third latter part, uh, of the latter part of the night is left, and he says, Who supplicate me so I can answer him? Who asks me for my forgiveness so I may forgive him? Who asks me for my forgiveness so I may forgive him? In every single day, there are great moments, and this is one of those. The last third part of every night. The last third part of every night in which Allah Azza wa Jal, He descends to the lowest heaven in the way which is proper to Him. He descends to the lowest heavens to see if there is anyone who is truly seeking at that moment when other people are, are asleep, when other people are enjoying their sleeps, to see if there is anyone who is. Uh, who is out there, who is asking him for his forgiveness, so that he can forgive to him. The one who reflects upon these, upon these moments, and upon the fact that Allah Azza wa Jal, upon the repetition which, which is brought in in this verse, Wallahu you read every single moment, every single time he wants. When someone ponders upon this, just realize the true meaning of the verse, which is, Allah, Wallahu, you need to understand that He is calling you for the repentance. He's calling you to go back to Him so that He can forgive you. And I will just give an example. And this example is quite familiar to most of you. It's the example of the one who has killed 99 souls. And we know that uh, killing one person. <laughs> the fact that this whole worldly life disappears is, uh, is something which is less important for Allah Azzawajal than killing one soul. And even that person who has killed 99 souls, 99 persons, he asked for repentance and Allah Azzawajal has, repen has accepted his repentance. If this person, even though he has committed this great sin, which is killing even one person, person. He has committed this great sin and he has been forgiven. What about you and myself? What about you and myself? <coughs> Certainly we have done so many mistakes in our lives. Certainly there are moments in which we have been so far from him. But at the same time, we do not need to despair from his mercy. <laughs> do not despair. Every single verse, every single sin. He forgives every single sin. All you need to do is to make that first step. And then we'll finish with this hadith with the Prophet Sallallahu In which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Allah Azza wa Jal says, When a slave of mine draws near to me a span, I draw, I draw near to him a cubit. And if he draws near to me a cubit, I draw near to him a fathom. And if he comes to me walking, I go to him, I go to him running. This is how merciful he is. This is how merciful he is. This is the first part of the verse. Wallahu yuridu an yatuba alaykum. Wa yuridu ladina yattabi'una shahawati. On the other side, what does those who follow the passion want? Wa yuridu ladina yattabi'una shahawati. In the same way as Allah Azzawajal, he wants to accept your repentance. Those who follow their passions, what they want. ويريد الذين يتبعون الشهوات أن تميلوا ميلا عظيما that you digress that you deviate greatly not only you deviate but Allah Azza wa Jalla He put a key word here which is to to deviate greatly the one who is on who is making sins the one who drinks for example alcohol he cannot 
he does not accept to see others being away from it. The one who does make any kind of sin, he does not, his, his nafs does not allow him to be, how come that these people are, being, are staying away from it? The one who makes these kind of sins, he doesn't want to see, ev ev he doesn't want to see the others being away from these sins. He wants to see everybody in the same sin as he is doing. Even the one who may, who kufar, even the one who disbelieves, what do they would like? What do لو تكفرون كما كفروا فتكونون سواء? What they like? They would like that you disbelieve in the same way as they disbelieve, so that you are equal. فلا تتخذوا منهم أولياء. This is what they want. And as he mentioned, Allah Azza wa Jalla has put a keyword in here. And tamilu mailan greatly. They don't accept that you just make the sin and not commit it another time. They want you to make the sin abundantly in the way they make it. They want to see you in the same sins as they are doing. They want to see you in the same deviation in the way that they are. We as the Muslims, Generally, we think of ourselves being in the straight path. Or at least we ask Allah Azzawajal to guide us to the straight path. 17 times at least a day, you recite the verse, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim. Guide us to the right path. This is what we want. Or this is what we are on. But these people who are in deviation, either in disbelief or either in uh, sins, great or minor sins, they don't want you to stay on that path. They want you to make the same sins as they are doing. They want to see you in the same, doing the same acts that they are doing. You need to be careful. We need to be careful from those who are calling from right and left. Those who are, uh, probably sometimes it's by ideas, sometimes it's by shahawat. Sometimes by ideas, sometimes they will uh, just try to make some doubt in your belief as a Muslim. And sometimes it's more subtle than that. My dear brothers and sisters, as long as you have chosen to follow the path of Allah, as long as you are saying, guide us to the right path, as long as you are saying, guide us to the right path, do not pay attention to those who call you from right and left, to those who want you to deviate. Keep your eye on the target. Keep your eye on the paradise. Inna Allah hashtara min al-mu'minin anfusahum wa amwalahum bi anna lahum al-jannah. Allah Azza wa Jalla has already bought your soul against the paradise. Inna Allah keep the paradise in mind. Keep the target in mind. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to take care of two things, which are the results and the conclusions of this verse, and to put this verse in the wider context. That when pondering and when, wonder, and when uh, reflecting upon the verses of Allah, you will, you will understand great meanings. It does not make, make sense that you read a book, you don't understand a word in it. What's the purpose? In the same way, it does not make sense to open the book of Allah Azawajal. Try to read it in a way that you just want to achieve, uh, the, achieve the hasanat of those letters without understanding a single word of what it is saying. I'm not... Uh, I'm not saying that you need to understand every single word in detail, but you at least need to understand the general context. At least you need to engage with the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. The conclusion of this verse are two things. Allah Azza wa Jal wants to accept in every single day your repentance, in every single moment your repentance, besides all the particular times that he has put specifically for, for accepting the repentance. The second one is, be careful of those who are calling from right and left. Be careful of those who are making doubt. Be careful of those who want you to deviate in the same way as they have deviated. Allah Azza wa Jalla has given us the truth and the truth.